Welcome to this game, you guys. Let me know. I'm gonna turn down the sound just a tad. Um, I also might have to switch up the playlist because I think this one got mad at me last time. Anyway, um, welcome to the stream, you guys. Uh. So today I'm going to be getting back to work on Ghidorah and I am very, very excited about it. And also, I've made a few like upgrades and changes to my workspace a little bit. So now I have this camera that I'm able to have facing over here towards like my sewing machine so that when I'm actually sewing, you guys can like see what I'm doing and not just see like the top of the machine. Um, and then I also have one set to be down at the craft table so that if anything's blocking, you know, from here, you guys can see it from above. So I'm really excited about this. It's a little bit of an awkward setup right now because this is like kind of right here in my way, like this other camera. But then I also have this so that when I am doing some sewing things and I want you guys to see what I'm doing, um, I can highlight this area. And it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, so I'm really, really happy about it. Um, so that should make these streams even more good. <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome. Let me say hi to everybody. Um, let's see. Fee is here. Arcal, hello. Captain Redberry, tokens, hi. <laughs> and Alex Ortiz, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday. You can do Twitch ain't the only stream. Yeah, I know, right? Twitch isn't the only one. <laughs> In fact, a lot of people stream on like Instagram and TikTok. Um, there's the whole Facebook gaming thing now. You can stream on like almost every social media platform. I don't think you can go live on Twitter though. They just now started doing stories, so. Yes, Red Mary, I saw your chat, hello. <laughs> but um, so, okay, let me show you guys why I'm really excited. So I'm gonna be getting back um, to work on Ghidorah. So one thing I'm going to be focusing on today is um, back on this corset. I was working on this back in like what, October of last year and the titty cups are just, they're out of control. I don't like them. So I'm going to redo the booty cups because during my last um, Sunday sew and chill, we worked with this lovely bodice pattern from Orange Lingerie. And these, these cups work a lot better, and I was able to also learn how to properly sew cups neatly. Um, as you can see, this isn't, this isn't neat. This is not it. So I've since learned, and so I'm gonna take these booby cups out, redo those. Um, I'm probably, maybe, possibly gonna make a lining. I don't know if I need a lining for this, really. Um, and then I also got some um, grommets. Is that the word? Let me see. Eyelets? Grommets? Are eyelets and grommets the same thing? These are eyelets. Grommets, I think, are bigger and different in some way. But I got <laughs> these eyelets um, to put in the back of the corset. Granted that I still am happy with everything. Um, so yeah, let's see, what is this guy doing? Is this guy being ridiculous? Okay, I'm I'm blocking you. Sorry. Or putting you in can I put him in timeout or something? If you keep talking about burps, I'm going to ban you. I don't do that anymore. I regret that content and it's not on my channel anymore for a reason. Because of people like you, Captain Redberry, you guys ruined it. That's why I took the burp content down. You guys made it weird. You kept demanding for it. So stop it. This is a sewing stream. Get out of here with that nonsense. Good Lord. <laughs> Alex, yeah, yeah. I feel like a lot of people, like, yeah, a lot of people honestly, like, don't know that I stream on YouTube. Um, granted, I did kind of start doing it recently um, because um, I'm kind of having like more of my craft content over here on YouTube, whereas Twitch is more um, my cooking and gaming and stuff, though I still will be doing creative streams over there here and there. It's just Twitch's variety hour, okay? But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I just see like in my chat, it's like message hidden, message hidden, message hidden, and I'm just like... This guy, like, what's, what's, okay, anyway, we're not dwelling on that anymore. Anyway, let's talk about how excited I am. First of all, we're gonna fix these booby cups, and now, let me tell you what I found. I'm so happy about it, I like, ugh. Okay, 
So there was this fabric that I saw, I think it was from Mood Fabrics. Um, actually, give me one second. I I can pull it up real quick so I can like tell you guys exactly how much it was and where it was from. Cause I have a whole folder of a uh, Ghidorah fabric basically that I wanted to use because finding all the golds for Ghidorah has been a trip. Oh wow, there's a lot of them in here. Um, let me see if I can find, it's not heavy bridal satin. It's like a ribbed something. Silky satin charmeuse maybe? No, that's not it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Cause um, yeah, I basically, I, I've currently got Ghidorah's pants made out of this same vinyl and it's just too much of the same gold. And then it's also this type of vinyl it do, you can't really walk in it super well. It kind of um, sticks together, especially if you have big thighs. So it's really not good for pants. Granted, I've made bodysuits with it and such, but there are some vinyls that are a bit softer and this one is just not, it's just not that soft. Um, but yeah, let's see if I can find this, uh, this fabric. Trying to remember where it was. No, it's not that. It's not that. Fake leather, no. I don't think it's that one. No, that's gold vinyl. Heavy crepe satin, no. Metallic vinyl gold. I don't think so, is it? No, that's not it. Um, satin charmeuse, it was not that. Ooh, this one? No, that, that's still pretty though. It's like an alligator spandex. Um, thinking is that one okay maybe I didn't save it okay whatever it doesn't matter anyway let me show you guys why I'm excited since it's been suspenseful enough I suppose found this beautiful fabric the good old Joann's look at this look at this is this not fucking beautiful and guess what it was 70% off this is like $20 a yard, and I got it for $6 a yard. Like, look at that. It's, it's literally magnificent. And it is a different tone of gold that I think is going to contrast really well with the other golds that I'm gonna be using throughout the um, costume. And I actually got really inspired on, on this week's uh, past episode of RuPaul's Drag Race uh, season 13, um, Kimora Hall was wearing this gorgeous gown for, it was like a train design, not a design challenge, but a train uh, runway. So the whole thing was about, you know, dress trains and all that fun stuff. So she had this just absolutely gorgeous gold dress and her train was like a dragon tail. And then it had these like embellished gold dragons on her shoulders. And I kind of want to do that now. I wanted to, if you if you guys didn't know, I did this Ghidorah, Ghidorah design here that's in the corner. Um, here, let me get her. Come on, Ghidorah. I'm trying to get a hold of the image. Here we go. So, I just, oh, no, that's not you? I was like, wait, what? It's like, where are you? There you are. Okay, here we go, here we go. Keep clicking out of it. So for my Ghidorah's like shoulder, shoulder armor pauldron things, I was gonna, I wasn't gonna make them like super literal to look like exactly like dragons. Um, They're gonna be like the, the top of the head of the dragons, and then you can see the eyes are like these jewels right here. But now I'm very tempted to do the actual Ghidorah heads. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. So this I want to use for the pants, and then I might also use it as part of the arm bangles. Um, so yeah, I'm so freaking stoked about this fabric, guys. I'm so effing happy about it. Um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna just start with is I'm gonna take these boot cups off because they're ugly and we're going to remake those. And then from there, we will do something else. Let me get my seam ripper. Oh, thanks, Alex. Hi, David, how are you today? Oh yeah, and yeah, tokens, you know, I'm gonna do my gun for building and stuff over there too. 
Um, okay. I think I need to, I do need to change this playlist though. Cause um, YouTube got mad at me last time. Cause it's like, oh, this song had the melody of this other song. And that is, um, that is a no, no boo boo. And I'm like, oh, well, crap. So let's see, what is like, um, I'm gonna see if I can, oh, wrong computer. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I might just risk it again. It doesn't matter really. Hello, Hacinta, how are you? I hope doing super duper well. I'm actually in a very good mood today. I'm very hyper. I had a coffee this morning. I like, my heart rate went up like just early. I was like, whoa, I'm like freaking wilding out, man. All right, so yeah, let's see him rip this bad boy. So there are multiple mistakes I made with this one. Uh, one mistake I made was not, was sewing the, um, the seam where the foam is, sewing that like, together it's too bulky you have to there's another way to do it to where you put the pieces where it doesn't it doesn't make a seam allowance you just put the pieces together and zigzag them together and it makes it just so much smoother and it just looks so much better another thing is to um make the fat the fabric piece is supposed to be a little bit bigger so that it can be sewn at the top and then pulled over so then it um basically seals up the top So yeah, I'm thinking about using the uh, booby cut pattern that I have here, over here. And I think I'm gonna take one of those booby cuts off <laughs> um, cause I can always put it back on and that is just a mock-up and just see if it fits well within here. Yeah, there were, um, I kept like continuing Ghidorah and then not because I was having a lot of uh, trouble making decisions about certain parts of the design since it is my own design. So um, I keep wanting to mess with it. I'm gonna bring this like down here. That's awesome, writing up a storm, that's good. <laughs> oh, I wish that's the way things work, that would be so nice. I would always barter for my fabric. Or I guess that's not bartering, I guess that's haggling. <laughs> but yeah, I was so stoked. little guys out of here this extra string is because with this vinyl of course you know my machine hates sewing it take off this titty cup Alright. Some of these 
little stringies out. I sewed this in like so crooked too. Granted, there is no, well, that's a lie. There is stretch to this fabric, but once I fuse that foam to it, it has no more stretch in the fabric. So instead of doing that for the titty cup, we're going to make the cup and then we're going to do it basically the way the orange lingerie's pattern works. So I think that's going to look way better. And now I'm gonna see if this teacup actually fits because this one was like a little bit big. Um, so we'll see. In fact, instead of even taking that out, maybe I can just measure. All right, so I'm just gonna measure along here. They're like the same length. So that's about 12 and a half. This is about 11 and a half, so it is an inch smaller, but that technically is probably okay because I could just alter this down a little bit, you know, like cut that like to there. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna use these two cups to do this. And this is just a mock-up. I think I'm gonna, I wonder if I can like just take this apart. We'll make, we'll make new titty cups. Let's just make new titty cups. So, out with the old titties and in with the new. <laughs> new year, new titties. All right, cool. So I'm gonna put a corset right here. Let me grab that pattern. I actually don't, oh, where did I even put it? It's probably nearby. Maybe just one minute, let's see if I can find that. It's not there. time so I had it last week I know I cleaned my work area a bit so I'm just like where did I put those hmm hmm let me find out where I put the boob cups or not the boob cups what am I even looking for oh my god I'm such a scatterbrain well technically yes they are boob cups the pattern for that I must have put it somewhere back here. I'm gonna have to go look again. Just give me a moment. It's not over here.
going towards any good. I've been able to find all of my other patterns, but not that one. So I'm probably going to have to reprint it out. <sighs> reprint it out and recut it out, which takes forever, so that's always fun. Nope. I've got too many projects right now. Look at one more spot and then I give up. I can't actually see from here without messing up that camera. Oh, nope. I don't see it. All right, I'm going to have to reprint it. <sighs> I'm sad. I don't want to do that. I'm going to plug in my printer. Watch it not be on this computer. I think I can, oh, so many inconveniences, inconveniences. Good, at least I'm already logged in. my size which I think My printer's running low on ink, so it might not even fully print this out. I would be so upset if it doesn't do it. Oh, and printer ink is so expensive, so I'm just like... Ugh. No, oh my god. My printer's not going to be able to print this pattern. Nope, I'm all out of ink. No. Womp womp. Another forty dollars to get eaten up. Ugh. Well, I was in a good mood. Now I'm just angry. All right, so I'm gonna have to do a BRB and find that pattern because I have no other choice. So I will be right back. I am sorry, guys. I don't know what else to do. I'm leaving my mic on though, because you can hear me yell and complain in the background while I try to find this uh, pattern. That's the old pattern. So let me use my brain. Worst case, I could technically take apart the mock-up, but I don't want to. <laughs> I want to find a clip that.
I meant seam rip and chill and panic. <laughs> oh. Yeah, right? The printer ink always running out at like the worst time. Ugh. I cannot catch a break. <laughs> use the foam from these titties actually. That would save you a little bit of time. So now I'm going to rip all this out. I'm trying to think of where that pattern could possibly be. seam ripping anyway. I mean, you can technically see me, but yeah. Honestly, that probably would just be quicker to cut out new titties because seam ripping all of this is going to be a pain. Given the circumstances, I was better, but yes, now I'm a little bit annoyed. And the thing is, I've been trying to stay like clean and organized. And then when I can't find something that I just was using, I'm just like, I hate cleaning and organizing. I can't fucking find anything. I'm very bad at cleaning and organizing too, so. But yeah, it's like I could find every single other pattern that I don't need except for the one that I need. And I'm like, why? Why does the universe do this? Just 
I should say. So I'm just gonna have to do it carefully or I'll end up ripping it. <laughs> But I am glad to have you guys here hanging out, chilling. Oh, there's so many zigzag stitches on this one. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm going to complain. <laughs> I have to. I, I might rip the muslin and I don't want to not have my pattern so maybe I shouldn't do that <laughs> it's okay I can just tape the fabric together it's fine. all right so this is the core of the titty and then there's this titty and those are gonna go onto this to make new titty actually this Pretty well, honestly. You know what? I think I am just gonna seam rip out this other one and just use these these booby cups for it because why not? It didn't actually take that long to seam rip, and I think that's gonna take less time than me, you know, cutting out all of the pattern pieces again, sewing them together, and then bleh. so let's just do that. Repairing Ghidorah's titties. <laughs> Where's the... Oh, you're on the floor. All right, <laughs> let's get this one going. But yeah, I, do. Um, I was saying this last week when I was working with this pattern for the first time. The pattern instructions and just everything about it are so clear and concise, unlike um, commercial patterns. With commercial patterns, I feel like just the descriptions on how to do things is not written well. It's very confusing. And um, yeah, so it's like PDF patterns are where it's at depending on you know who you go through i haven't bought a whole lot of pdf patterns um but yeah orange lingerie i am like blown away and i learned so much from their pattern too which is great that's a big reason why i'm redoing the booby cups for Ghidorah because i there are several techniques that i didn't know about that i now know to make everything just lay nice like nicely and more smooth and just yeah look good so I don't know if it's better. I don't know. It's better. <laughs> Mom just found a shop that sells items that come from Japan and it's in your city. Oh, that's really cool. I wonder if they'll have like candy and stuff. I hope so. <laughs> I love um, Asian markets. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow is uh, my cooking live stream. Uh, over on Twitch, which I do every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to tune into that, I'm going to be making um, uh, kimchi sundubu jjigae, which is a kimchi and soft silken tofu stew. And then I think I'm going to make maybe like a, either a beef bul bulgogi or like a pork bulgogi. Um, and then some rice to go with that and maybe a side dish. I'm not sure. We'll see but it should be really good. I'm really excited about it. I also might make some rice cakes. I don't know, it just depends <laughs> how ambitious I am. Gotta redeem myself after the Italian nightmare last week. And I mean, everything turned out like okay, but I, I just wasn't a huge fan of how everything turned out in the end, considering how much work it was. I was just like, yeah. Also, I gotta get bread better. I gotta get better at making bread. I love bread, I'm bad at it. But last time was my first time making it, so I don't feel too bad. It's how we learn. You gotta make mistakes. <laughs> I 
Gotcha. I know that we're on very different time zones, so yeah. My uh, my schedule throughout the week, I've tried to make it so that I can attempt to hit every time zone. So on Sundays is my 2 p.m. Eastern time stream. Monday is 6 p.m. Eastern time, and then Tuesday and Thursday is 10 p.m. Eastern time. So I don't know if I hit all of them, but I try. All right, so we've got our foam titties and a lot of threads everywhere. That's nice. Then I'm gonna undo one of these. Doesn't matter which one, they're both the same. Yeah. Extra strings out of here. Just a friendly reminder, um, on my Patreon, this month, um, only this month, everybody, every one of my patrons is going to be getting a 4x6 signed cosplay print. So um, even the $1 patrons, so if you're interested in supporting me over there, this month in particular, you can snag a print. Um, you also uh, get early access to um, some of my content, like my videos. And I plan tonight to post some work in progress of a cosplay that I am working on off, um, off stream. So I'm just gonna be making the video and then do like a reveal. And it's a very like nostalgic project for me. It's something that just kind of, I got inspired to do. And it's actually like a mashup of two like favorites from my childhood. So I've been putting a lot of work and thought into it. And I've been working on the video and making it throughout the week. Um, so I'm just excited to share some stuff. I'm gonna share some photos, some work in progress photos with you guys. Um, most of my work in progress photos are um, publicly posted, but since this is not a, this is a cosplay that is a, not like a secret secret, but it's, yeah, I wanted to wait to do like the full reveal until I like put the video out. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing what it is, I do plan to post on Patreon about that tonight. So yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. There's like this bundle of thread right here that I'd just like determined to get out. Okay, okay, get some of these threads out of here. <laughs> Making a big old mess. Oh, my chest is a little. Hi, Scary Frog, how are you? It's a cute name. All right, so I'm gonna undo these pieces. So let me look at the uh, pattern instructions. I think it's still in my downloads. Load it again. All right. So the instructions. Um. Let's see. Let me see it in here. God. All the kindness and positivity to you, Mira. Oh my god, I forgot to change my alerts! <gasps> oh, it's on the jump scares! Sevs, thank you so much! That just made my heart drop. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, I was playing on Thursday, I was playing Phasmophobia on Twitch, so I still have my jump alerts on. I'm so sorry. That scared me so much. 
Um. Wait, this, these are, these, oh, I've got my YouTube and my jump scares for some reason under the same thing. I don't know why. Um, let me, one second. Oh my God. I'll never be able to get through a stream without having some kind of technical difficulty like this. It's not a technical di difficulty. It's more of a derp on my part. Sebs, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Any support I get during this stream is gonna go towards printer ink. <laughs> ah, I hate printer ink so much. It's so unnecessarily expensive. Um, 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 here we go. Is this working for, I'm not even, wait, wait a minute. I know why things aren't working correctly. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh, I'm sorry guys. Struggle streamer. Yeah, print printing is such an effing ripoff. So let's see. Um Oh, I know what happened. I think I know what happened. I okay. Let me just test something real quick. I'm gonna test subscriber. Okay, so the subscriber subscriber thing still works. That's good. I'm gonna put this. Or that's the YouTube alerts, right? Yeah, I need my YouTube alerts at the top. Yes, YouTube alerts at the top, please. <laughs> the top I'm sorry let me do it again I have to do it on every one of these I just made these before the stream started so if I edit one of them I have to edit all of them um do you have YouTube, YouTube alert where are my YouTube alerts oh they're actually okay they're at the top of that one. Oh, I'm on the wrong one because I'm a butthole um there we go there we go okay Sorry about that. Okay, I think everything is right with the world now, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh, let's see. Oh my god, people are still coming in here telling me to burp. What is wrong with these people? I I Oh, that drives me insane. Hi Reaper. Huh? Would you like a soda? Would I like a soda? Mr. I'm so, Reaper, yeah, that's the second one. Second person coming in here and telling me to burp. And I'm like, this is a sewing stream. <laughs> Stop. I'm, oh God, I like ruined so much with those burp videos. I didn't know. I didn't know that it was such a prominent fetish on the freaking internet. It was innocent fun that turned into something disgusting. She didn't listen. They didn't listen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm loud. Oh God, I'm just like, why? And see folks, this is why, you know, sometimes it's just some things where it's like, yeah, this might be popular on the internet. I could probably monetize it in a way and make some money, but it's weird and I don't like it and it makes me uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna try to forget about that part of my life. <laughs> there should be a ban option. You can time people out. Um, I, will, I will ban people as needed. I think I, I'm pretty sure I can ban people. I don't know if can you guys see if there's a way for youtube mods to ban people or if there's like some kind of special permission i can give you to do that maybe yes inner outer good i still have this labeled
also. Um, I'm going to turn on my iron because I'm going to have to iron these patterns down to make sure they're nice and flat so that I can get accurate, um, you know, uh, cutouts. printer ink. <laughs> Sorry, anyone in chat whose uh, ears that may have destroyed. <laughs> Apologies. Everyone's like, you said this was a chill stream. I am fucking leaving. sausage rolls from scratch with spiced herb dough. Oh, that sounds good. I, uh, oh, that sounds amazing. to um, disable the jump scares from the chill sewing streams, okay? I'm gonna do that soon. If I wanna stay on track at the moment. Try to get this booby cup sewn. I still can't think of where I put this pattern and I thought I'd put it in a spot specifically so that I could, you know, use it again. But yeah, I have no idea what I do with it. <laughs> yes, my mods always, uh, they make the stream a, a wholesome place. Oh, that sounds so good, Sevs. That sounds so good. <laughs> you can do any of the other donation alerts, Raper. Or you could just say hi in the chat. YouTube chat's not nearly as, um, you know, crazy as Twitch chat can get in terms of, you know, people chatting, you know what I mean? So we'll know that you're here, I'll see you. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm really excited to cook tomorrow. Oh, yesterday, ooh, y'all, I made those uh, Bidia tacos. Oh, they were so good. I used um, beef shank for the meat and cooked them in the slow cooker for like eight hours yesterday. Oh my God, they turned out so freaking good. And now I'm trying to think what I can do with all the broth. So yeah. Let's play in silence. 
Oh, you want to play in silence. Is that, is that the one, which one is that? I think I know which one you're talking about, but I, there's a few games that are similar that I get it confused with. Is that the one where you try not to make any noise to alert the monster and you're playing with like multiple people? And I think there's like, yeah. There's one where the a player plays the monster, and then there's one where it's a monster and you're all on a team trying to escape said monster. I this out. Oh, put on my team setting. I want these to be very, very flat. So that when I cut them out, they will be all right. Yeah, ooh, that would be really good. Oh, I'm gonna have to, oh, I'm just really excited. It's just got so much good flavor in it too. All right, so let me go back to my craft table. So here are my bra pieces again. Um, let me make sure I have them all properly labeled since, once again, I don't have to look at them. So, where is my PDF? Here we go. That's the top. And this is the top. And then these, yes, these fit together like that. So that means this is five and this is six. Five, six, and this is four. Top, inside, outside, top, top. Make these marks a little bit more prominent. I think those were all the marks that I need. Is this one? No, that's just a rip. Okay. So top, top. That, that. And then I think that's it because I've got these. So these are, are what I'm going to be using for the foam parts. So then I just need to cut out these out of the, um, the stretch vinyl. So I get my vinyl. Hiding people is the ban option. When you hide them, they can't chat anymore. Okay, so I guess that's basically banning, right? We'll figure it out. But thanks for looking more into it. I really do appreciate it. All right, I think my vinyl is in here. I hope I still have some. Yes, I do. I could just use the pants also if I need to, honestly. Yeah, this has been a struggle the whole way. The whole way. It's been a struggle. I'm pretty sure neither of these 
Neither of those are the same. So I've got this stuff. You see if there's a, sc a scrap, maybe? <laughs> Just get a leak. So you see if there's a Ah! No, those are shitty shorts. Those aren't even the same gold. This is my scrap bin. Wrap it up. See what I've, you know, salvaged. This is a good one. It's a good big scrap. I'll try to cut the booby pieces out of some of these smaller ones like this. keeps wanting to slide with every motion that I do.
good enough. All right, let's mark these pieces here. Top. Very important to mark the the top and where you're gonna be sewing it because since these are like triangles, I always lose track of which way is what and which side is which. So um, it's very important to keep track of that. In fact, that might be a reason why the titties on my last, you know, attempt didn't turn out very good. So yeah. <laughs> Don't think I can fit. Nah, you won't fit over there. So I've got lower titty. Most good. <laughs> All right. Do the same thing, I guess. little bitty piece, come on. All right, I'm just gonna, just don't, don't mind me. I'm trying to get some leverage here.
Okay. Okay, 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 here we go. Hi, Hedgehog Sonic, how are you? All right, so let's mark our marking points. You know how it is. So this, I think, is that correct? Or is it this way? It's that way. So you're this way. So that means y'all are this way. So let's mark your little notch. Top of the titty cup, top of the titty cup. Same thing over here. Wait, that's just not to the top of the titty cup. This one is the wrong. See how easy it is to get it the wrong way? This is the top of the titty cup, I believe. Ha, this is the top, not that one. See, it's easy to get it confused. It's so hard to tell. Almost every way you put it, it looks like a titty cup. This is the top, not you. So there, and this is five. Okay, so we've got these, got those. Okay, let's do this. Let me make sure, I wanna make sure I got the instructions right. So, let's see this, I've already sewn up the foam. Foam is all good. So, we get this, we get these. Now, right sides together. So you're gonna go here so that the notches are gonna meet up on either side. You are here. So let's get y'all together. Pull them up next. Not just matched up. stitching for this will still be a pain but I think everything else will be a little bit more go a little bit more smoothly you know So she might start being a, acting like a turd. All right, so got those. So let me grab a gold thread that I hope I have. <laughs> I almost bought some today, and I'm like, no, I get some later. Oh, 
Let me do one thing real quick. Gotta text my mommy. I think she's in there meowing at mister. That's funny. Has any of my streams been sponsored by a MOBA game company like Raid Shadow Legends? No. I've never been um, sponsored. I would never really want to be sponsored by Raid. Cause, I mean, I don't know. I know they pay good money, but I've never played the game, so I guess I can't really judge. I've heard things that they're a little bit shady. Um, with how they do things, but I don't know enough to truly critique on it. Um, I did get a potential offer for it with the gaming company, but I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, so we will see. And um, I actually started playing their game to check it out to see if I even wanted to join it, and um, I've actually been still playing it. I just don't wanna say what it is in case I do get the gig. So, um, so yeah. But no, as of now, I've never actually had a sponsorship with like a mobile game. Hi Tracker, when I saw your Insta post about being live, you instantly went to Twitch and felt sad you didn't get your stream, thanks for over YouTube. Oh yeah, Mr. Tracker, um, in, uh, I did put in the description, I know that a lot of people probably assumed I was on Twitch, but um, I put in the description that a link was in the uh, my bio as well as on my, uh, in my stories. But since I normally stream on Twitch, I don't expect people to like, think like, oh, I'll go to that link because they probably think it's just a Twitch link. You know what I mean? Either way, thanks for being here. I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you're able to come by. I'm trying to like get my schedule more out there um, so people know where I'm gonna be. I'm on YouTube every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern time to do my chill sewing streams. And then Monday are my cooking streams over on Twitch at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And then Tuesday and Thursday I stream on Twitch, usually at 10 p.m. Um, Eastern time, but that is subject to change just depending on things, so. <laughs> but yeah, okay, let's see, gold, gold, gold. None of these golds that I have on a bobbin look like these. There's that one. That's, this would be better for top stitching. Oh, that's like orange, oh. Do I not have another gold? Is this the best thing I have for top stitching? I mean, it's not that bad. I'd rather have something else. What did I use to top stitch you? I guess I used this. I don't seem to have this anymore. Let me look one more time. still look fine as a top stitching so we'll just use those so you are you belong to you you I'm gonna use this Guterman I think let's, let's go with this it's hard to choose I don't know what I want to use on you two right now and then you're gonna be my top stitching thread so let's uh
plugged in. Oh, you are plugged in, but you won't think that light. Yep, that's turned off. tracker yeah I've been trying to like do different stream times throughout the week so that I can hopefully catch more people you know but yeah hope you've been well noted one fourth of an inch seam allowances are included. Hi, does see you. Are you talking about Ghidorah? Because you're probably right, because I've been mulling it over for the last two years, basically. It's been a struggle of a project. Um, when it comes to like my original designs that I do, I tend to not ever be able to stop changing up the design and then figure out what exactly I want to do. Um, I also, uh, the last time I was working on it in like October, I got like really, really depressed and just stopped working on it for months, like literally until now. So, so yeah, it's been a lot of on and off with Ghidorah. Cause it's a big project and it's just really hard to make decisions on it. Even getting all the materials has been a struggle, but I struck gold today. Um, so I'm like in a really good mood. I got a new type of uh, fabric for the pants and I think it's gonna work out much better than what I had before. Also, I'm like wearing shoes still. I like never wear shoes when I stream. So I'm gonna take these off. Cause it feels weird on my presser foot. Hi, Perry, how's it going? You're learning how to do this new thing and being like, I need to redo this. Yep, that's actually, I'm redoing the titty cups right now. So, <laughs> that's one thing that I just learned and I'm like, well, time to redo it. I think it's gonna look much nicer. I'm gonna be much happier with it. And, um, SKS Props just came out with a new video um, doing these like really nice textures on foam. And uh, I'm gonna use that to kind of give me some inspiration for Ghidorah's armor. And then I also got inspired by Kimura Hall's dress on RuPaul's Drag Race this past week. Um, Cause she had these really cool dragon pauldrons and they were like bedazzled and I'm like, oh shit. So I'm like still going in the same direction to an extent, but I'm like kind of changing it also. <laughs> All right, there's one cup of the titty variety. This one's some. <laughs> and yeah, project is going well so far. Pretty good, pretty good. I was uh, struggling at the beginning of the stream because I couldn't find my <laughs> I couldn't find my pattern that I needed for this. Wow, that went way too fast. So I was like upset 
I have to take apart my mock-up because my printer is out of ink, so I couldn't reprint the pattern. So uh, I was a little bit stressed earlier, but I feel better now. Things are going, they're going. So then I think I'm supposed to top stitch it with right sides together. So the inner lower cup and outer lower cup back piece together. Press the seam towards the outer cup. That's this one. Outer cup. Outer cup. All right. I think I can press this a little bit. Steam, though. Nice, like, chill, relaxing gun for streams. Uh, yeah. made like this slight problem in the fabric but I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's also about to be top stitched. For top stitching this bad boy, I guess I probably need my walking foot. Um, let's see, I think I have it. Yes, good. This one here, this one here. 
So using the walking foot, we're kind of, um, it's got extra like feed dogs on it and that will help feed the fabric through properly. Um, since it's vinyl, it loves to stick to the machine. So I might need some kind of stabilizer when I'm sewing it. I hope not though, because since I'm hot stitching, I want to be able to see what I'm doing. We will see. Wow! Wow! Reaper, thanks for the donation! I appreciate it! Oh my goodness, thank you, thank you! <laughs> thank you. I don't know why it's not updating my, um, my donation thing. Does it, maybe it's not working. Oh, maybe it's because you might be donating through the Twitch link and not through this one. Is that why? I'm actually curious, let me see. Actually, oh wait, no, I'm on the YouTube one, so I can't actually check. <laughs> Thank you, Reaper, I appreciate it. Thanks for helping me save up for that ink. <laughs> Did you just have to do a scammer show? I'm gonna quickly play around with this and just see if it's gonna like, cooperate with me. I think if I just go really slow, I think it'll be fine. Maybe, That one's too loose. I don't like how that one looks, so I'm keeping it at that. Oh, shillings. The St. Quartz donor gift? I think I got rid of the St. Quartz donation gift like years ago. Like, Quite a while ago. Trying to sell something on Craigslist and some dude tried getting your Google verification number. What an idiot. You listed something up for sale on Craigslist and a dude tried getting it. Saying my post was fake. What? Oh, so he was trying to get your Google what um verification number because he was claiming your post was fake and he's like you need to prove to me that your post isn't fake by sending me this information and it's like dude fuck you are you serious what an absolute fool the scammer tried to buy your house i told him sure 500k and it's yours <laughs> People love trying to scam smaller um, sellers because they think they can get away with it. Uh -oh. oh, that's crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna try to top stitch this. So I'm pushing it to the outer one. So we're going to sew it. I'm gonna go really slow, so hopefully I can make some pretty top stitching, you know? And maybe at length, should I have it like right here? Back? I think it should line up like this. 
this. I think that's it. Okay. Can you guys even see, or am I like huddled too close to this? I think it's Being very careful, I'm making sure my seam is pressed towards the bigger part, which is the outer bra cup. And I'm keeping this lined up with that edge so I can hopefully have some really nice top stitching. Unlike before, the top stitching looked horrific. so far. See? You guys see? I don't know if you guys can see that super well, but it looks good. A lot better than before. So let me just put this back through. Let me fix my uh, threads. I don't really know what happened there. I guess I just went a little too fast and it made my machine upset. having to sew and the vinyl is on the top and the bottom that's when it really becomes a problem so look that does look actually a lot nicer and I can't wait to compare the two later and show you just how different because see um can you see the top stitching on this I don't know if you can it looks really crooked and it's a struggle bus this looks a lot nicer and it'll look even nicer once we've got the foam underneath it So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing for this one. Do that good old top stitching very slowly. I'm actually gonna turn down the speed of my machine. Sometimes I just like wanna kick it into high gear, you know? All right, let's line you up right here. That, hopefully.
guys can't really see it, but those feed dogs really do help. Um, Cause it basically, instead of them just being like underneath the fabric, this has them on top. So it helps scoot that fabric along. So it's very, very important to have a walking foot if you want to work with this type of uh, like stretchy vinyl fabric or really any vinyls. Cause they're sticky, this outside it's sticky and the machine doesn't like it. So it just needs a little bit of help with the special foot. One moment, I'll be right back. Let me go see what uh, Mr. wants. In fact, I'm gonna take a quick BRB so that I can go run to the bathroom. Um, so give me just one moment and I will return in just a moment. So um, I hope you guys can uh, stick around. And uh, yeah, BRB. Oh, hi, Cloud. Hi, hi. <laughs> yeah, give me like five minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Here we go. Okay, so top stitched. Top stitching is done. So let's go to back to the craft table. Okay. So we've got these. So the next step is sewing this. This is like the 
top part of the bra band thing. So, I'm gonna do this. I think it's the other, yeah, it's the other way. It's this way. Here, this way. So I'm gonna label this. So, this is. This is the inner side, this is the top, outer top, and then a little notch right there. So you are basically the opposite. So this is I, O, and then top, top. So the top is going to be folded over, I believe. So I don't remember if it's this way or the other way. This should be it. This is the top. And is that the top? I think it's supposed to be this way. So that's outer, that's inner. I think it's this way. Thank you, thank you. I thought we were supposed to get you high, but you've been eating these roasted seaweed snacks all day and they didn't know <laughs> Oh, Reaper, you're so silly. Yet we're just continuing with this new and improved booby cup for Doors Corset. Thanks to that uh, bodice pattern from Orange Lingerie that I used last week that I didn't want to redo all these cups. <laughs> It's this one. Oh, you don't have your little notch. Uh oh. So it's so important to label these. It's so hard to get them mixed around. So that's the top. This is the top here. So you're this way. This is the inner and that's going to the outer. Okay. I can do it. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's try that again. <laughs> Yep, booby. Do you want to try to enter Ghidorah into the Ultimate Cosplay Championship this year online? Um, last year I entered my Primarina. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping I can do some cool things with Ghidorah. And maybe place, maybe. But the competition is uh, quite steep. <laughs> Hi, 
our cow. It means by top. Where did that supposed to go? Let's try this one this way. There's no way that's it though. Almost positive that's what I'm supposed to do. Let me do something real quick. So yeah, that folds over the top. Folds over the top of the foam though, right? Yes. Okay, no, this is right. And that's the inside. Inside outer cup, that's outer. Okay, this should be right. This should be right. Yeah, these are opposites, so. All right, that should be correct. It's supposed to be right. <laughs> cooking lately I uh, over the past couple days actually I've been having I've been struggling a bit to concentrate on my work um so I didn't get as far with like my YouTube video project as I wanted to um but in that time I ended up you know doing some more cooking and like I said I made those media tacos yesterday I also made some homemade chili the other day and that was really really good there's still a little bit left that I'm probably gonna take to my mom. But um, but yeah, I just couldn't concentrate and I didn't wanna do anything else. Like I didn't feel like watching anything. I didn't feel like playing any video games. I just didn't wanna do like anything. And I'm just like, I'm just gonna cook. And that's what I'm gonna do. So that's what I did. And it was fun. Now I have good food to eat. This is apparently the way to go. So let's sew this. I really want to um, 
to make some adjustments and improvements to my uh, to my stream. I need to update my stream deck. Um, I really love, you guys know my friend Kisa, I love her transitions, like whenever she's switching between scenes like this in OBS. Hers are so cute, and I want to figure how, out how to do that. <laughs> Or like commission someone to make me one. I just think that would be really neat. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks better now. So see, got the top of the titty cup. I'm finally my winter pet is gone. Now I have spray girls. Ah! I love that so much. That's so funny. Oh, and cloud. DJ Cutman gone shopping from We You Grooves. <laughs> Take up my neck. Have a great night and good luck at work. Oh, neat, neat, neat. That's good to know. I do not know what the previous one was, unfortunately. It's a live, it's like part of a live stream. So yeah. I'm sorry. Got a top stitch again, actually. Um, let me look at my directions really, really quick. Uh, I keep losing where there they are. There they are. Yep. 
Yep, top stitch and have it going upwards. So let's go over here for a secundo. So I can see if I can use my iron again to kind of press them that way. Hopefully without causing any problems. Wipe this off. the absolute worst luck. I did not see this at any point when we were working on this and somehow a pin mark got on here and it's in the shape of like an L practically for bad luck and now that I've fucking ironed it I probably won't be able to fully get it out. Why? This day really does not like me. Ah, uh, let me up. <sighs> How to get pinning out of vinyl, rubbing alcohol.
struggle bus. Thanks, Minnick. Okay, this is helping. Oh, okay. That did it. Thank goodness. All right, it's gone. I'm seriously about to take a shot now. This is like number, the third issue I've had now. Okay, good. I'm so glad that that came out. That would have been very sad. it now. I like having it on my, my sewing machine. Diesel Power Gaming, hi! How are you? Yes, very, very chill. Wow, that is, is that at one fourth of an inch? Oh. <laughs> I wish I could look. I wonder if I could. I could do like that. That might be even better. You know? So you guys can see a bit more. Maybe.
we go back a little faster? Let me see if I go a little faster. I'll take that in mind. Maybe in this case I can go. It's really starting to take shape now. I'm excited. <sighs> Since I'm planning to enter this into a competition, I am trying to be really meticulous about some things and make, you know, take my time and make it just look really nice. Put a lot of effort into it. weekend so far. I know it's the, coming to the end of the weekend. But you know. stitching is over thank goodness let's go back over this way go all right so we've got these boob cups fabric cup on the wrong side of the foam cup, right side of the fabric cup on the wrong side of the foam cup, so along the upper edge. So, is it, oh yeah, the inside, yeah, so it's going to be this way, and then it's going to be flipped up and over like that. You need to get some more of this loose stuff out though. Once I lots of like little loose threads from when I undid the zigzag stitches, so I want to get those out of the way. Otherwise, they're just going to be poking out and become more of a pain later. So yeah, get those out of there. Let's see, all this stuff can get out. All you know, these extra little threads getting in my way. I've been like hardcore in the mood to play um, pinball. I wish I could play on like, you know, the old kind of arcade machines, but uh, I really wanted to play Space Cadet Pinball, which is like what most of you guys know, you know, the classic computer pinball. And uh, yeah, but I don't have it on my computer and I don't know where to download it. Cause it should be free, right? It's since uh, both of my PCs are built, I don't think they just, they didn't like automatically come with it.
what is this one called? I love this, uh, this Mario music. Whoa, that scared me. So yeah, got this so far, that's the right side, that's the wrong side. Oh yeah, my injury, if you guys saw, I posted about it uh, on, was it, I don't remember if it was on Twitter, but on my thumb, I uh, messed it up trying to open a thing of fish sauce and it just filleted my, my top of my thumb. And I'm just like, ow, like, oh my God. Why are you doing this to me? Technically, that's the right side. I don't know if it matters though. is only a scratch. It just to be a simple scratch. We do need to flatten this a bit. Oh, I'm gonna actually sew this one down first before I start switching up all my settings.
zigzag. So we're gonna zigzag here, because that's gonna basically press that foam down. That's something new I learned from this pattern, and I thought that was the coolest freaking thing ever. the difference you see how flat the foam is there compared to like here see the difference that's what that zigzag does it flattens it like that so that it looks really really nice yeah. here's this way now we're just going to basically stretch that over the foam and then top stitch along here look how much better that looks compared to this compared to this titty look at this one so much better Cause this one's like, oh, because the biggest thing is sewing it like this without the seams. Because sewing it like a regular seam with all this foam and all this thickness, it makes it look chunky. It can't rest on the curve with all of this thickness. So I am so glad I discovered this pattern. I have just learned so much and it looks so much better. I'm so freaking happy. So I'm gonna be so much happier at the corset now. So anyway. Zigzag this other little guy. And, uh, let me pick these up. These are like in my way. Now, I'm just gonna kind of pin this so that it just lays down nice and flat. So that when we uh, attach it to the corset, we know that this, this boob cup is gonna stay where I want it to.
being careful to uh, actually I kind of want to do piece of this. So I really just need to base it. Oh, it's so easy to. So, did you ever take a uh, drink of vodka? No. You want one? Sure. You know what? I will. Oh my god, guys! Look at it! Look at it! Oh my god, it looks so good! Look how clean! Once again, comparing this to this. Shook! God, I love this. I love this so much. So much. Baby kitty. I've already gotten your goodies. She was just kind of standing next to me. She didn't meow until I better. Oh. She wasn't like bugging me. She oh, was just okay. Kind of hanging out. So I was looking at the clock and I'm just like, she just got fed. Oh, hi. Look at this, this premium titty compared to here. I just want to show you the difference between the first one. Careful. I know, I saw. See, that one is old. Look at the inside. Yeah. Crazy, right? One second, let me um. Why? You got a pet? Hey. Please don't. She wants him that way. <laughs> she just trampled over your <laughs> shit. She's just walking over all my stuff. Oh, uh, come on, Tamamo. You haven't showed the screen your butthole yet. <laughs> She's I got my camera right there. So they might have seen her butt. I'm not sure. Nah, she did. I don't think she went tail up. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. It's 20 minutes till 5. You know, that's fine. Cheers. It's 5 o'clock in the ocean. Go see Mama? See if she'll come see me. Come on. You guys see her if I switched. Hello. Oh, she wants to hang out with Mister. I think. Okay. Here, I'll go ahead and finish uh, clipping this. Yeah, she wants Mister's attention. She was all about my attention yesterday, but every day she uh, she changes. She changes her yep. She definitely plays favorites on a day to day yeah, basis. Yeah.
one's not quite as tight, but that's okay. It still looks really, really, really good. I'm a happy lady. Definitely taking a before and after. Uh, uh, excuse me, good lord. a little bigger. Can't tell though. Let's do a before and after. I don't think so. She did. I didn't hear it. She is? they actually, you know, fit. Which looks like they're gonna fit pretty well. I'll try to pin this. Oh, and that's why that is so much out. I should sew this down. So I don't think I'm going to add a lining to it, to be honest. So then when that's sewn in, that's, I'm going to sew that down. stabilizer to actually make this go through. Like I said earlier, the walking foot helps if, you know, this side is regular fabric, but this is going to be folded. So now both sides are going to be vinyl and that's going to make it stick. 
And we don't want that. We don't want it to stick. We want it to guide smoothly through. I'm gonna scrap the tissue paper. And I can just use this on the top and the bottom. I guess I will sew it this way, because then I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, but no, it's a top stitch. I'm like, which way should I sew it? So that paper underneath acts as a stabilizer, and then you just can tear that away. It makes it so much easier to sew. Like, you don't even know. Thanks so much, John. Thank you guys. Thanks for being here and cheering me on and supporting me. I really appreciate it so, so much. coming out right I think I just saw like a tease like I saw a teaser for the trailer I might have to do this zigzag stitch again down here oh that yeah yeah I'm gonna I need to zigzag this to make it smaller too What do you think of King Kong? Soon? I haven't, se yeah, I haven't seen the full trailer yet, but um, I do want to go. I do want to check it out when I get the chance. I've never been a fan of King Kong though, so I'm just kind of like. Mm. I have not seen King Kong Skull Island. I don't think I have. I feel like I saw a King Kong movie maybe a decade ago. I don't know.
lashes flat so it's easier to sew on. Brit. Is it a good movie, Reaper? Here we go. Just flatten that down. Reduce the bulk to make everything easier. It was okay, way different than the Peter Jackson one. Gotcha. Hmm. I don't know a lot about movies, so I'm just like. Doesn't really cause any puckers. Hoping I can manipulate this enough because yeah, it's very stiff. It might I might not be able to pin this. But it should actually, honestly, it should fit like pretty fucking perfectly. I am a little bit worried about this causing some wrinkles, but I think I can find a solution for that if that does happen. So I think I'm just gonna baste it. Baste it. I'm gonna switch to the full craft crafting table zoom. Should be interesting. I am sweating. All right, give me one second. Hi, PK Freeze. How are you? So, yeah, I think I'm just going to try to sew it without pins. Base it in place.
probably not catching everything I need to catch, but I am just basting it so I can make some adjustments. I'm so sweaty. Let's go take off my jacket. Can't get you there. Whew. This is a lot of work. Oh, wait, no. I did. I lost my top thread somehow at some point. Very early on, I suppose. I might need to, I honestly think I need to hand sew this in place. I don't think it's gonna really work under my machine. I think I need to hand sew it. Like I can hand baste it and then machine sew it, but like to start, and I might just need to hand sew the whole thing. It's just not wanting to go under my machine. It's angry, it's angry at me. No, it was not happy. Yeah, I think I need to hand sew it. All right, I'm gonna get a hand sewing needle. my craft table so I can go get my thimble. If I should use like a curved one. Oil oh, Morado, thanks so much, Olivia. Thanks so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. All right, gonna sew these titties. I'm gonna try this needle. This is gonna work the way I hope it will work.
hard to angle this in a decent way. I don't have it labeled, so yeah. <laughs> How are you, black cat? doing well see I want to I want to do it like continuously that way but I just I can't I won't let me my hand is getting so sweaty like my thimble wants to come off Be really uncomfortable now. Maybe 
maybe this one will be better. I don't think it will be really. You can at least breathe in it a little bit, but it's hard to control the needle. Sweaty for any of my thimbles to help me. Alright, I mean, it's keeping it in place. It looks atrocious, but it's keeping it in place. <laughs> I don't think I can. Okay, I pinned, I pinned it here. <laughs> I'm here for the sewing funds.
ugly. God, I'm scared. Oh yeah, it looks ugly, it looks horrible. Oh God. <laughs> Fuck, this is so hard. It's not easy. Cause there's just, there's no stretch. I have like nothing to work with. So close to where the corset ties are too. This is working a little bit better. Did my headphones just flop out? that camera.
looks really bad. This is why it's taken me over two years to try to get Ghidorah to work. I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. Like nothing is working and it looks really bad. Yeah, this is probably where I will stop the string because I don't know what else to do. I am stumped. I'm so proud of this cup and every time there's something else, it's a problem. See, I always get really excited about Ghidorah and I'm like, yes. I'm gonna do this and it's gonna be great and then nothing. Nothing in this project has worked out. So it just, it sucks, you know? Just quite discouraging. I will think of something though. Can I just like staple it? <laughs> That's fine, right? <laughs> but yeah, the fact that this isn't fused might be an issue. Technically, I could fuse it possibly because it is on the fused side. might help along here. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to think about it and see what I'm gonna do, cause yeah, nothing's working. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I could just like, instead of, you know, sewing it like a regular seam, if I could just get away with sewing it like this, maybe, maybe something I could do, something I'm thinking about is put bias tape on here, something to bind this and then have this and just sew it on top of this and like top stitch it because then it wouldn't be doing like that and that's what my issue was when I made these it's just it's too bulky to do a regular seam like this so I think that might be a solution I might actually play around with that like off stream today and see if I can get it figured out I definitely will post updates if I did if I do so that might be my next course of action but uh but yeah I'm spent at the moment I gotta not look at this thing for a little bit and then I can come back to it with a fresh state of mind um, but I am, Reaper Reaper, did you see the fabric that I was able to pick up uh, for Ghidorah's pants? I'm redoing the pants and I found the perfect fabric for it and it was 70% off. It's usually $20 a yard, but I, I got it for like $6 a yard. So next time I'll work on Ghidorah's pants. Let me show you the fabric. It's going to get glitter everywhere, but that's fine. So 
this fucking gorgeous gold. It's so beautiful. That's what I want for the pants. So I'm really excited that I found this and I cannot wait to work with it. Granted, it's um, an interesting material. I'm gonna, we'll see, we'll see how this works out. <laughs> oh, in a moment, I'm getting ready to wrap up the stream. But, um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Sorry the music cut out kind of at the end. But um, I really appreciate you guys so much for being here. Um, I will be back um, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be streaming on Twitch. So, um, so yeah, streaming on Twitch tomorrow, doing my cooking stream. I'm going to be making um, kimchi sundubu jjigae, which is like a kimchi silken tofu soup. And um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to make with it. But um, it should be fun. So I'll see you guys then. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm on Twitch at um, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. If um, if I do squeeze in uh, any like YouTube sewing streams or anything, I will definitely let you guys know. But typically, they are going to be um, here every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Alex, Jacinto, PK Freeze, John, Tokens, AM Reaper Show. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. And just thank you so much uh, for supporting the stream and supporting me here on YouTube. I am still working very, very hard to try to get partnered. So um, if you guys are ever bored and just want to put on something like in the background, if you want to watch any of my videos, I know they're like tutorial sale videos and not everybody is going to find those to be something that they really want to tune into. But if you are interested and you want to help me out with those watch hours, you guys can just, you know, put on a playlist and let it go. <laughs> but um, I'm really excited about my next video that I am working on and I'm trying to make it like not scripted like I usually do and not just voiceovers. So we'll see how that goes. Um, again, thank you so much for being here. I will see you next time and hopefully I will see you guys here uh, next week for more craft time. And yeah, have a great rest of your Sunday and a great rest of the weekend, guys. 